My kombucha is dripping. Does anyone else do that? <laughs> Ladies, I get it. John doesn't like your selfies, but screw John. John doesn't deserve you. But also, I'm gonna show you guys how to take your selfie game to the Hall of Fame. I've been thinking of that line for a while. Let's do it. What's up guys, my name is Dax Brule. I am a photographer, videographer based out of Ottawa, Ontario. Now, I will be honest, I do not take selfies that often, but I do have my fair share of experience in portraits, self-portraits, and just photographing a human being. In this video, I'm gonna share some tips with you guys to how to take better selfies. Now, disclaimer, this is not self-portraits with a tripod. This is the full-on hand camera selfie, you know, what's up, baby? kind of style photos, how to take those photos better, pimp up your Instagram game or whatever game you want to pimp up. So let's do it. Tip number one I'm going to give you guys is angles. It's all about the angles you shoot the photo at. Now the best angle to shoot a photo of a human being's face at, I would say line up the camera with the chin and you're going to be tilting the camera up directly at the eyes. You want to always be pointed at the eyes because the eyes is the first thing a human being is going to look at. So when you are taking yourself, make sure you're consistently keeping that angle. If you're going too high, High, you're gonna look like a midget if you're going too low you're gonna look like a giant so you want to keep that angle consistent because this is really what's gonna make your selfie stand out and really make whoever's looking at the photo snap right into those beautiful eyes of yours now lighting lighting usually people think is a very simple thing but it is very 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 complicated I have made videos discussing lighting like this video here how to take better photos with your phone how to take better photos for your Instagram but I want you guys to get creative with it I really want to challenge you to do some Sorts of creative lighting. I've made videos on my TikTok. You can go check that out. Link in bio on different creative lighting setups, like getting different angles on your face, using pots and pans through the sunlight, using a uh, a laundry basket through the sunlight, so it creates kind of shapes on your face. But really, the main thing you want to have on your lighting, if you're really going for just a simplistic lighting, is a simple Rembrandt lighting, which is what I have right here. As you can see, I have a nice soft box. You know, you don't have to buy a soft box. You can just get your house lamp and shoot it through a sheet, a white sheet of some sorts, um, but you just want to get a 45 degree lighting, which is a Hollywood look, and it's going to come here. As you can see, it lights up this side of the face, leaving a triangle right here on the other side of the face. This is a very nice looking lighting, very simple lighting to learn. If you want to learn more about lighting, I'm going to leave some links in the description for videos about lighting, but get creative with it. I really challenge you to take it out of the box, get some RGB lights, different things like that. There's this video here talking about how to get some really cheap RGB lights. To learn about lighting, this is the number one tip I can give you guys to take your selfie game to the top. Now, when it comes to facial expressions, girls, guys, you guys are always like, what do I do with my face? Don't do that. What I would give the tip for people who are models and don't know what to do is copy. So what I would do is just cop on your app, your Instagram app, go to um, Kylie Jenner. No, I don't know. Whoever you want to, who you, you think takes great selfies. And this is pretty much how everyone learns how to do everything. It's just from co not copying. I wouldn't say copying, but learning from the best through practice. So yeah, I would come here to um, whoever you want and, and, and copy their lighting. As you can see, like, let's look at this photo of Kylie Jenner. This is a very neutral kind of face, you know, with the, the eyes up. Just try to copy, look at the photo, look in the mirror, and just replicate that face. Look, and, and I'm not going to tell you're going to get this per first time, but over time, learning these poses, it's all a simple act of, of, uh, of practice. Learning these poses, you're going to be able to quickly, whenever you need to take a quick selfie, a nice looking selfie, you're going to be able to remember those, those looks on your face that you like. It's like a muscle. You have to train your face to... Uh, 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 uh. I, don't, I don't know whatever you want to do, but you have to train your face to have that look. Now we have lighting down. We have what you're going to look like down. Always, of course, we're going to quickly brief on the outfit. Outfits up to you, whatever you want to wear. I'm not going to tell you what to wear for your selfies. I'm not a fashion channel, so I'm not going to tell you how to do that, but choose a nice outfit. But the main thing I can tell you is location. As you can see here, I have a very simple background. Location is super important. Where are you going to take your selfie? Are you going to take it in the bathroom? Are you going to take it in your room? Are you going to take it in the snow. Wherever you're going to take the selfie is going to affect 
respect the photo itself. So if you do have a nice room, which a lot of like teen girls nowadays have like these intense RGB rim light rooms, that's gonna help you, I'll be honest. Um, you want to choose your location and think of the background. So if your room is terrible, but you have a nice brick wall on one side, or you have a nice RGB lights on one side, or you have a nice, some nice curtains that have a cool design on one side, that's where you're gonna wanna take a selfie. Don't think that your whole room has to look nice, just your background has to look nice. Nice is gonna be up to you, I'll be honest. I can't really tell you what's gonna look nice. Usually I would say, Simple is gonna be better for your background, guys. Your selfie, you want people looking at your face, not your background. It's gonna complement if you have a nice, simple background because then it really pulls the attention to the person in the middle. That's why I have nothing on my background. Of course, it's a little more boring, but what else are you gonna look at other than my gorgeous face right now? I would say get a simple background as you can. If you wanna add a little spice, add a little spice, maybe a little pattern, but not like have garbage in the background, garbage bags. You have Aunt Jemima in the background and Uncle John smoking a cigar. No. And finally, editing. I'm gonna give you girls all a tip. You can use Visco to edit, but I'm gonna recommend Lightroom Mobile. I've made a complete masterclass, only 15 minutes where you can learn every single tool in this app. You can start saving your own presets so that your feed looks the exact same because you just keep posting the exact same um, editing settings on all your photos. The video is gonna be right here, Lightroom Mobile Masterclass. Please check it out. Editing is the last and most important key of all photos. I think if you do not edit your photo, you're missing out a bit unless your photo is perfect, but no photo is perfect. You can always make minor adjustments, even if they're not giant adjustments. So learn this editing. It's a free app. You can just download on your phone. Whenever you're done, you can throw all your selfies in there. You can scroll, you can look through them all. You can choose the ones you want by five starring them. And then you can edit those ones, export them and directly post them to Instagram. Super great app recommended for everyone. Editing, please learn your editing girls and guys. I don't know why I think guys don't take as many selfies as girls, but please learn your editing for selfies. So the question of the day for you guys, it's not really a question, it is a request. Please tag at Dax Brule on Instagram or use the hashtag. I'm gonna start a hashtag, I don't know if this is gonna work. Dax Brule selfies. I'd love to see the selfies you guys can take and I'd love to see even the process behind taking the uh, selfies themselves. Hashtag Dax Brule selfies. So I hope you guys learned something, enjoyed this video. Gently, 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 gently tap that like button. If you enjoyed, subscribe. New videos every single week. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every single time I drop a new video. And without further ado, creators, keep creating.